How many years before they reproduce them? About, well, they don't reach sexual maturity until they're about 25 to 30 25. years old for females. Okay. And then after that, every five years, females are reproduced. Oh, really? So that's why there's a low harvest on them because, if, yep. you know, they only reproduce every five years. Right. It just takes that much longer for the, you know, population. Okay. Huh. The males uh, mature right around 18 or so, 18 to 20, and they reproduce every two years. Okay. Two years. And they don't live nearly as long as the females. Females right. definitely live longer. It's very uncommon to have a male over 100 pounds. I think oh, they is had, it? Had their, last year, I think they had their first, first male over 100 yeah. pounds. Yep. Otherwise, they're always record. smaller. <laughs> it's, a, it's a large, it's a giant male. That's wow. a super giant. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Probably a really old fish, too. Do you want to do this when you're older? <laughs> you want to be a biologist, it's something you've got to do sometimes. It's a glamorous <laughs> job. <laughs> yeah. you got to do the field work to do the fun work in the lab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, we work, I've, I work with the lake fly larvae with their eating and we're uh, working with the DNR to see, trying to figure out a qualitative measure, see what they're eating. Um, this year was of real interest because the gizzard shad population, a small fish that typically die off in winter, they, um, these guys will go to a sturgeon will go on the bottom and suck them up because they're just high calories, just little pockets of fat more or less. And there's really have there's not a big population of shad in the lake this year. So and consequently, which is kind of interesting, there was a actually a rather large population of lake fly this year. So this is really it's an interesting year for that aspect. It's kind of some we don't know what it'll be like next year. Of course, so it's, it's good data. Do you know if we're going to have a lot of lake flies on for next oh, year? Oh, yeah. Just, you, I would assume. Yes, there is because we did worm yeah. test. Some spots got like 13, 11, 9. Yeah. There's spotty, yes. Yeah. Like three or four years ago, you could barely, if you're lucky, if you picked one or two of them. Huh. Yeah, this past year, this past summer, we've had probably the, the largest population we've had five years. So, we had, we had a, they, they bump up once in a while, but they've been rather low. But this past year has been definitely a, a much better year for the lake fly. So, we'll see how much their surge in effect that population. We'll be sampling them in, in late April, early May this next year. As soon as the water gets around 10 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Huh? I'm videotaping this one. This one is a big one. Here's a, here's a big one. That's a big one. That one's huge. Looks like a dragon. <laughs> that one's really big. <laughs> you have to get a ride on a sled. That's his last ride. <laughs> he is. That's like the bigger one so far. <laughs> what do you think he weighs? Um, my guess is like like 95. I would say 125. Well, yeah, maybe. No, I'm okay now that. <laughs> Somebody said 80. Yeah, I said I said um 95. You got a 95. 82.5. I'm guessing 95. 95. 95. Sorry. 95 minus. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Oh well mine was close, that was 90s. Oh there's only six up. How much was 104? That's a lamprey. They got a lamprey. Can I take it? Oh yeah. Can I grab it? Alright. Okay, they have the lamprey thing. You know the eel that I was talking about with the teeth? Yeah. 